Hey, I'm back. I'm back with another video. I'm back to give my thoughts on Batman. Uh, one of the most anticipated movies of the year for me. You know, probably top three anticipation wise. Uh, you know, it's it's great. You know, we got we got a brand new Batman, Catwoman in the joint. Uh, uh Riddler is highly praised. This this we got Matt Reeves, which is a pretty good director. Um, it's it's such a it's such a good you know a good score maker. Good composer and a, a lot of great things coming into this Batman film. And like I said, I, I was extremely excited from it. The first trailer that came out, the teaser trailer, almost two years ago. I'm like, man, that looks that looks like it's gonna be special. It looks great. It looks like it looks like Batman was thrown into seven. This is gonna be amazing. Uh, and I, everything about this movie looks so special. It looked great. The remaining trailers look great. I thought this is gonna be amazing. I'm hearing great things. Nine out of ten. Ten out of ten. Masterpiece. Blah blah blah. And I was so excited to see it. And so what did I think of the Batman? It was eh. It's an eh movie. It was eh. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. It was. It was not bad at all. Um, bad parts of it, like. I was, it was just, it was tough. It was tough going into this movie thinking I'm gonna see a great movie, seeing something special, at least a nine or a ten out of ten. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna see something great. Um, and yeah, just, I honestly I don't like to use this word, but I I was disappointed. The Batman is disappointing. Like the movie is slow. The movie is slow, and I figured I was gonna get something slow because, like I said, watching this movie, it looked like it was gonna be Zodiac or it was gonna be Seven, and I was hoping for a little more Seven than Zodiac. But um, I was thinking, okay, you know, I'm I'm about that. I'm about I'm about the thrills. I'm about to I'm about it getting dark and gutty and gritty. I'm about it, man. Like I'm about it. I'm about. I was about a slow pace. But to me, you cannot do too slow a pace, and that's what they did. This movie is, is very slow throughout the film. Some good sequences happen in the movie, but just overall too slow. And then towards the end, the movie gets even slower. And it's like, are you kidding me? After you know, after a certain character dies, the movie just really comes to a halt. And it's like, what? Are you kidding me? This is what we're like. like the, everything comes to it's like it's like we're just now we're just dragging and it's like now, what? And this is what I was afraid of. I was afraid when I heard it was like two fifty five. I was like two fifty six. I was like, it's actually really long. This is the first movie, and I thought okay, if they fill it up with enough action, if they keep it engaged, then it'll be good. But they didn't. This movie does not have enough action. This movie goes too slow. In the third act, like I said, it just just that last hour. It's just it's, we're just grinding, and not the good grinding, not the club grinding. Like this is bad. <laughs> I, honestly, towards the end as well, like I feel like the ending action was not special. Of course, we got we got a big we got big thing. It's a big thing happens. It's a big spectacle at the end. You know, not like a, an, an Avengers fight, but of course, you know, uh, the biggest thing of the movie happens. You know, and, it's, and you, if you've seen the trailer, you can guess what part I'm saying. Was, uh, obviously, that was going to be the ending, and it's kind of just like eh, it's oh, it's it's okay. It's okay. I get it. Like big things happen. A big situation was happening, but the action wasn't great. You know, he fights some certain guys. I won't say what. No spoilers in this. But it's like, okay, cool. He fights them. But it's like, and I didn't love the fighting. Like, the fighting's kind of quick. What happens is all right. And it's just, it's 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 wild. It's it's, But it's like, I would have loved better action. I would have loved some better fighting or make me feel it. I did not feel anything for the ending. I didn't I didn't care. Honestly, I didn't, I, I, this is a big thing. I didn't care about the mystery too much. I didn't care about the mystery that much. I didn't care when it came to the ending and that ending fight. Like, I did not feel anything during that. And you got to make me feel. This is the end. This is the, make me feel it. And it was, I wasn't feeling it. Uh, the mystery is pretty good. I like most of the mystery parts. Like, you know, it's it's cool. You know, the the the, the beginning death, the next death. They're cool. They're okay. Um, I like that, you know, yeah, Batman's more of a te detective in this one. I feel like, you know, even a Nolan film showed a pretty good amount of that. He was he was smart and good at detective. But uh, he, he's very much a detective in this one. But it's cool. I, I really like his dynamic with Commissioner Gordon. Or right, he's not a commissioner yet. But with Gordon, I really like them together. But it, 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 it's cool. You know, it's like, okay, we're moving along this story. And, oh, who's, who's this? Who's that? Who's really bad? Who's this and that? And then, you know, you get to the part with his father. You get to this. You get to that. The revelations. It was, it was good, but honestly, could have been better. Could have could have been better. I'm saying it's and I'm saying it's okay, but I mean, I, it's like I'm, I'm it was it was good, but at the same time, with all the riddles and the mystery of the movie, also could have been better. But I, I I that was probably one of the most enjoyable parts of the movie because, like I said, there's nothing really else going on. I mean, you know, you're walking through this mystery. There's not much action. You know, that's yeah. I I really think they could have picked up the pace. And they definitely could have made this more entertaining. And more entertaining, I don't mean just, oh, let's throw an action scene every five minutes. Oh, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He just wants action. Every... No, I, I don't. I don't. I, like I said, I really love it. I love, love a good story. But it's like, to me, with this mystery stuff, Seven did it better. Not to compare this movie to exactly the Seven, but, you know, you see, I can see the influence. But it's like, 
Seven did this better. Like, make me feel it. Like, if you want to go dark, let's go really dark, man. Let's just, let's do it. Let's get to it. And this movie, there's so much talk in this movie. Oh, it's like a horror movie. Oh, it's so dark. It's so scary. Uh, don't take your kids to this movie. T take your kids. Take your kids. If you want to take your kids to this slow, dark movie, you can. And when I say dark, I mean visually dark. It is a very dark movie visual movie like, it, like it's it reminds me of the burton batman movies like it's very visually dark so look if you want to take your kids i think it's fine because honestly i think the dark knight is darker like like he his performance is dark the joker is dark people like people saw this movie like oh i was i was so scared of the riddler oh the, the riddler was so scary I, I went home later after seeing this movie it was so scary so we hear from critics the riddler is not scary i don't love this performance i don't think i think the riddler's being overhyped uh i like paul dano I think he, I think he, he, he did good. He did good, but it's just, it wasn't great. It wasn't crazy. I've seen some critics compare him to Heath. This is nowhere near Heath. Now I watched this name thing about Heath, but just seeing that from critics, don't even put Heath's name in your mouth. This is not even close. No disrespect, Paul. He did good. He did good. Um, even the scenes when he's out the Riddler costume, you know, he, he's cool. He's cool. I think he could have sold us more. Like he's kind of just like, he's kind of smart. He put the, you know, he put together these little mysteries and riddles, blah, blah, blah. But it's like. He doesn't, like, I would have went for, like, a little more crazy, a little more crazier of a guy, more weirder of a guy. Like, he's kind of weird, but it's just, he's kind of, he's just kind of a smart guy. He's kind of just, like, a smart nobody. Like, I didn't feel the weirdness. I didn't feel the craziness. I would have liked more of that. Um, it was, it was cool. I don't, like I said, I feel like his performance is being overhyped. I don't think it's, this movie is not scary. I heard, I've literally heard, this is Batman as if he was thrown into a horror movie. It's not. Shut up. It's not. This movie is so overhyped, and I hate to say it, because I was hyping it. I was I was hyping it. I was excited, man. This is not it. So like I said, man, the movie was too slow, and I was cool I was cool with the slowness until I got too slow. Um, Zoe as Catwoman, I thought she might have been the best part. I, I liked her a good amount. I like Colin Farrell as the, the Penguin. Penguin has some couple couple funny moments and he did good overall. I love him in the prosthetic. He did he did good. Robert, I like Robert in this. Um I like the way he walks as the Batman. I love the Batman suit, man. The Batman suit goes hard. I like his, the Batman's fighting style, but I did not love Bruce Wayne. I didn't really like Bruce Wayne in this movie that much. Um I didn't I didn't I didn't expect him to really not like him. I thought I was gonna like him. It's just it's just not it. This is not it. And I was like, I don't think he's a bad actor at all. I think he's a good actor. I think he did the best with what he got. But I think the direction they took with this Bruce Wayne, I knew he was going to be moody. I knew he was going to be what, what, you know, what we saw from the trade. But it's just, and he's barely Bruce Wayne. But still, in the scenes, he's Bruce Wayne. It's, eh, it's, eh. He's, he's, he's barely talking. He's talking slow. I don't, I don't, I don't really care for it. I think could, that could have been better. I like Andy Serkis in this movie. I wish we could have seen more of Andy Serkis. Um, I thought he, I thought he was brilliant. I thought he did a good job, but he's not, he's also not in it a lot. Some good performances, some okay stuff. I like, let's get to the positives. I like the shots. There's a good amount of good shots in this movie. I like the score, but even this really good score couldn't save this movie. And if you know anything about me, I love a good score. And if you don't know the score, I'm talking about the music underneath. Um, to me, sometimes a great score could save scenes. It could save a movie, but for this movie, it could not save it. So look, I like the shots. I like the score. I like some performances. Uh, I like the car chase scene. I wish that we saw the Batmobile more than once. I wish we saw, you know what I'm saying? If they played it in every trailer, I thought we were going to see it a good amount. Um, but I, I like that scene a good amount. The fist fight from the first trailer uh, is pretty good in this movie. But I was, I was honestly just let down by this movie. I was let down by it. Jeffrey Wright was really good. John Turturro was really good as Falcone. Felix, I thought it was too slow. Uh, I like certain parts of it. Certain scenes were good. But I'm not rushing back to see this in theaters. I thought this was a movie I wanted to see two, three times, blah, blah. But I'm not rushing back to see this in theaters. I'll probably see it again on streaming or cable. No, cable's dead, what I'm saying. Uh, on streaming. I'm disappointed, man. I'm disappointed. But I don't think it's bad. Like I said, I'm saying it's eh. I still give it probably a 6 out of 10. Because like I'm saying, it's not a bad movie. It just wasn't that 8, 9, 10 out of 10 that I thought I was going to get. Um... It could be a five if I watch it again. Who knows? This this seems like a movie that's going down. I feel like I come, I'm kind of being nice with the six. But, hey, man. Um, yeah, that's all I got. This is long enough. Peace. Thank you. Glory to God. Thanks for watching. Love y'all.